What damages can happen to your heart when you have high blood pressure? Your heart is an organ that has to work all the time. And when you have high blood pressure, the heart has to work a lot harder. What if the cause of your blood pressure doesn't go away? What if you have stress, anxiety, depression, and it lasts for months and years? What if you continue to smoke? What if your lung diseases like asthma, bronchitis, emphysema uh, remains with you? What if you continue to have anemia or eat a large amount of salt? But over time, the damage that happens to the heart can accumulate. Lucky for you and me, our heart has an amazing ability to adapt. Even with the increase in blood pressure that lasts for months and years, over time the heart will slowly adapt. One of the adaptations that the heart will have is that it will gradually increase in size. The wall of the heart will get thicker and the heart will get wider so that it can pump blood more forcefully and more efficiently. Eventually, the heart can get to the size of about half the chest wall. Even that, sometimes, if the cause doesn't go away or if the causes get even worse, the heart cannot pump enough blood or it cannot work enough to satisfy the need. That is when heart damages occur. Now when the heart gets too big in size, sometimes it can contribute to causing uh, damage to the electrical circuitry of the heart. So that will result in irregular heartbeat. Sometimes you can ha have the heart beating, but there's very little blood come out. And if that happens all the time, it can be a life-threatening situation. When you get your blood pressure checked, you normally see two numbers, a top number and a bottom number. What do these numbers uh, mean? This is the blood pressure. The normal value for your blood pressure is uh, about 120 over 80. The top number represents the systolic pressure. When your heart beat, that is the pressure it creates inside your blood vessels. The bottom number represents the diastolic pressure. That is the pressure that remains inside your blood vessels when the heart relaxes. The top number will go higher the more your heart beat and the more forceful that the heart beat. The bottom number will go higher when the blood vessel constrict or when there is more resistance in the blood vessels. In uh, another way, the top number represents the pressure that goes away from the heart and the bottom number represents the pressure that goes towards the heart. It is very important that you understand how to read these numbers because they would help to explain a lot of the damages that happen to the heart and other parts of your body. Now what happens if the bottom number gets too high? The normal number is about 80. What happens if it goes up to 90? or a hundred or even more. When that number goes up, that means there's a lot of constriction that's happening in the blood vessels. Because this number represents the pressure towards the heart. In a normal heart, when the heart pumps blood, there's a valve that opens and the blood goes through. And when the heart stops beating, the valve closes and it stops the blood from going back into the heart. When this bottom number is too high, sometimes the valve will malfunction and it will allow blood to go back into the heart. And that can cause damage to the valve over time if the bottom number remains high for a prolonged period of time. So the heart will be less efficient at pumping out the blood because there are blood that goes back into the heart. Because high blood pressure normally occur with other medical conditions like high cholesterol. Sometimes you can have blockages that occurs in the blood vessels that supply the heart. 
like cholesterol buildup in the coronary artery, as in coronary artery disease. When this happens, on the one hand, you have the heart having to work a lot harder. On the other hand, you have blockages to the blood vessels that restrict the flow of blood and oxygen to the heart. If the restriction is too much and the demand for high blood pressure is too high, you start to have damages to the heart muscles. This is when you start to have heart attacks.